The Embassy of Argentina in China announced on March 14 that the South American country is interested in purchasing the JF-17 fighter jet, jointly designed and developed by China and Pakistan. Argentina's ambitions to buy a new fighter plane have drawn much attention since the competition pits the Chinese-Pakistani JF-17 Thunder against the India-built Tejas. The Chinese state media report, which cited a Weibo social media post of the embassy, said that Sabino Vaca Narvaja, Argentina's ambassador to China, recently met Argentine Defense Minister Jorge Tejana and his staff in Buenos Aires to strengthen bilateral collaboration in the sphere of national defense. Narvaja discussed the potential of Argentina purchasing the JF-17 aircraft with officials from the China National Aerotechnology International Engineering Corp during the Airshow China 2022 held in Zhuhai. Earlier, a top Argentine Air Force mission was reportedly visiting Denmark to inspect second-hand F-16 fighter planes. The delegation conducted technical evaluations of Danish F-16B MLU fighters. At that time, Brigadier Diego Garcia, the Argentine Air Force's Director of Plan, Projects, and Budget, disclosed that the team comprised experts and technicians who had gone to Europe to assess the proposed aircraft. The country's Air Force has been exploring procuring a new fighter jet for decades. However, the nation's precarious financial situation and the British blockade have hampered these attempts. The latest event comes months after Argentina's president, Alberto Fernandez, declared that his country would postpone buying any military aircraft for the time being since there were more vital things to allocate its resources on. After the 1982 Falkland Islands War, the United Kingdom imposed an export ban on Argentina to prevent the Argentine military from modernizing. As part of this approach, Britain has barred Buenos Aires from procuring multiple fighter jets by restricting parts manufactured in the UK. The US is negotiating with the UK to allow the transfer of a former Danish F-16 MLU to Argentina. Given China's expanding influence in Argentina, the US is paying particular attention to the country. On March 15, Chinese analysts informed the Global Times that JF-17 is the best choice for Argentina regarding availability and performance. According to Fu Qianxiao, a Chinese military aviation expert, Argentina has long sought to acquire brand new fighter jets to replace its deteriorating and dwindling warplane fleet. The UK has, however, obstructed Argentina's attempts to purchase aircraft on the world market due to historical disputes. Qian Xiao claimed the UK could use diplomatic pressure to persuade other nations not to sell warplanes because South Korean and Indian jets employ UK components, notably ejection seats. In the past, the British embargo prevented Argentina from purchasing aircraft, including the Swedish Saab Gripen and the South Korean FA-50 trainer light fighter. Both aircraft include ejection seats developed by Martin Baker, a British firm. The Chinese Foreign Ministry and the Chinese Embassy in the UK announced last year that China's stance on the Malvinas Falkland Islands matter is unchanged and that Beijing firmly supports Argentina's justifiable claim to exercise full sovereignty over the islands. As a result, Qian Xiao added, the JF-17 is the most available fighter jet to Argentina. The state media highlighted that the JF-17 has evolved into three generations known as Block 1, Block 2, and Block 3. Block 3 is outfitted with sophisticated avionics and flight control systems, an active electronically scanned array radar, a combination of China's best beyond visual and short-range missiles, and more. Chinese analysts say the earlier blocks are less expensive yet still perform well. The warplanes that have been assessed and are being thought about as prospective alternatives by Buenos Aires are India's Tejas, China-Pakistan's JF-17, and US-made F-16. It is important to remember that the US F-16 aircraft offered to Argentina is not equipped with an active electronically scanned array radar. Additionally, 
they are incompatible with the tankers the country's air force currently employs for in-flight refueling operations. The JF-17 lightweight single-engine fourth-generation fighter program, jointly pursued by China's Chengdu Aircraft Industry Group and the Pakistan Aeronautical Complex, has been at the center of the Pakistani Air Force's fleet modernization plans with the number of JF-17 fighters set to be fielded expected to exceed 200 aircraft. Where previously the bulk of the Pakistani fleet was comprised of near-obsolete Cold War-era jets, including several hundred Mirage 3 and Mirage 5 platforms complemented by an elite of Chinese J-7 aircraft, leaving its only modern fighter the F-16 Fighting Falcon as a small minority, the JF-17 has helped to bring the fleet up to a far more modern standard. Manufacturing the aircraft domestically, and its lightweight design which prizes low operational costs and maintenance requirements, quite possibly the lowest among fourth-generation aircraft, make phasing out older and less complex fighters for JF-17 aircraft far more feasible. With the JF-17 Block III fighter unveiled in December 2019 and expected to enter service from around 2022, the aircraft will outperform all existing Pakistani fighters, the F-16C included, by a considerable margin. While the new aircraft has a new engine and makes more use of light composite materials for a superior flight performance, including the ability to exceed Mach 2 speeds, the platform's most significant improvements are arguably those made to its beyond visual range capabilities. The JF-17 Block 3's avionics are nothing less than state-of-the-art, with a heads-up display, a full glass cockpit and new single-panel multifunctional display, and the aircraft also integrates a powerful active electronically scanned array radar, possibly the KLJ-7A. An active electronically scanned array radar will be key to the JF-17 Block 3's performance, and its sophistication will compensate for the relatively small size of the radar the fighter can accommodate and provide the situational awareness needed to make effective use of longer-ranged munitions such as the PL-15 air-to-air missile. This missile has approximately double the range of the AIM-120C used by the F-16C, approximately 200 kilometers where the AIM-120 is restricted to around 105 kilometers. The PL-15 has been integrated onto China's new generation of fighters which all integrate active electronically scanned array radar, the J-20, J-16, and J-10C.